So now we're going to move to quadratic, right? So quadratic does not have a series, but very important is that sometimes they do combine the series in aromatic and basically fuse it in here, right? So, but just remember the fact that it does not have series at all, right? It does not have its independent formula for that. And also, if you're struggling with number patterns and want to see the relationship between aromatic and the quadratic and how series is infused, it's in my course, I have questions on that. And the course is only 190 Rand. It covers everything that you need to know for number patterns, right? And I'm going to leave, it is going to be up in the eye and it's also going to be in the description. And also the quiz that covers every question under quadratic. Um, it's going to be down in the description. So with that said, let's answer this question. So it says, given that the quadratic number pattern is equal to negative 4, negative 6, negative 10, and negative 16, and they say the fact that we need to determine Tn. So with that said, the first thing that we need to do, I'm just going to rewrite this whole thing. So it's going to be negative 4, right? It's going to be negative 6, and it's going to be negative 10. And it's going to be negative 16 right so we're going to find the first difference first right so finding the first difference is going to be negative 16 minus minus negative 10 which is going to give us negative 6 that is going to be negative 10 minus minus 6 is going to give us negative 4 and the last one is going to be negative 6 minus minus 4 which is going to give us negative 2 that's our first difference we're going to find the second difference when we find the second difference, it's going to be negative 6 minus minus negative 4, which is going to give us negative 2. And also here, when you say negative 4 minus minus, uh, negative 4 minus minus negative 2 is going to give us negative 2, right? So we need to find Tn. So what matters is this numbers, right? So this is going to be equals to 2a. This is going to be equals to 3a plus b. And this one's going to be equals to A plus B plus C, right? So we only start from the bottom and solve going up. So it's going to be the same as 2A is equals to what? It's equals to negative 2, right? So with 2A is equals to negative 2, divide both sides by 2. So it's A is going to be equals to negative 1. So we already found our A, right? Then the second one is going to be what? It's going to be 3A plus b is equals to negative 2 substitute your a so it's going to be 3 negative 1 plus b is equals to negative 2 so this is the same as negative 3 plus b is equals to negative 2 when you take the negative 3 to the other side which is going to be positive it's going to be negative 2 so it's going to be b is equals to negative 2 right plus what plus 3 therefore b is going to be equals to positive 1 so to find c is going to be a plus b plus c is equals to negative 4 right so our a is negative 1 our b is 1 plus c is equals to negative 4 this negative 1 and 1 are going to cancel out so that c is going to be equals to negative 4 so therefore t n here is going to be equals to what to a n squared plus b n plus c substitute is going to be that tn is equals to what is equals to negative n squared that's going to be plus n minus 4 that's how you will find your tn i hope that makes sense right so now moving to 3.1.2 it says call which colors between which consecutive terms of the term which goes between which consecutive terms of the pattern is the difference equals to negative 100 right is that to find this question is that we need to use this second difference right we need to use the second difference because they gave us what a number from the first difference right so i hope that makes sense so we're gonna use that the arithmetic uh, tn so we're gonna know the fact that tn here is going to be equals to a plus n minus 1 then d right so here we know the fact that tn is equals to a negative 100 right go up tn is equals to negative 100 and since we're using the first difference is that a is equals to this number the first term from the first difference so a is equals to what go here it's going to be equals to negative 2 then our d also is equals to negative 2 so it's going to be equals to negative 2 
right? So consecutive terms, our final answer needs to be two numbers, right? So numbers that follow each other, right? So with that said, we're going to substitute. So it's going to be negative 100 here. It's equals to negative 2 plus here is going to be n because that's what we're looking for, minus 1. Then it's going to be negative 2. Take this negative 2 to the other side, so it's going to be negative 100 plus 2 is equals to n minus 1. Then it's going to be negative 2, right? This is going to give you negative 98 is equals to n minus 1, right? divide and multiply by negative 2. Then what we're going to do is that we're going to divide both sides by negative 2. So it's going to be negative 98 divided by negative 2 is equals to n minus 1. When we do that, we're going to get that our answer is going to be what? A positive 49 is equals to n minus 1. Take the 1 to the other side. So it's going to be 50 is equals to n. They said two consecutive terms. So our answer is going to be 50 and the next term, what is the next number after 50 is 51? So your answer is going to be 50 and 51. So that's how you would answer this question.